Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Medieval Minecraft on MultiMC because it is the superior mod loader for Minecraft mods. Uh, so this is going to be a very strange method because we're using MultiMC but we're actually going to still have to use CurseForge. At least that's how I do it anyways. So you're going to want to download CurseForge. I'll put a link in the description to download CurseForge. But you're going to want to do that and download Medieval Minecraft. So you're going to download the V5 version of it. And you're going to make sure that this is the right one. It's called Medieval Minecraft Fabric V5, if I'm not mistaken. So you're going to have that downloaded. And when it's done, you're going to right click on it. Then you're going to open this folder. All of these files you're going to want to copy just like that now you're going to want to go to multi mc right here you're going to want to add instance you're going to add 1.19 and click ok so now what you're going to do is you're going to edit this instance you're going to right click on it and edit the instance we're now going to install fabric install the latest version with the star next to it and now fabric loader is here on this instance so if you really wanted to you could rename it you're just gonna I mean you could rename it bob boy but we're gonna be boys now but you could literally just rename it medi mc so now what we're gonna do is we're going to go and enter the Minecraft folder. And we're going to paste. So it's going to paste and copy all 1,252 files that the CurseForge version had on there. So now that that's done, you don't have to worry about the Curse client. It's not going to hurt anything. It's just there. You're going to close that out. Now, all you got to do is launch. The launching process is probably going to take around two minutes or so, and then another two minutes or so to load it. Still takes a lot to load. So, we're going to try and see. I'm going to stay here with y'all so people don't think I'm doing some fancy editing to then say, oh, mine won't load, mine won't load. People will probably do that. So, we're just going to sit here, and we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna wait for it to load up is going to take a minute but as you can see there are no things down here for minecraft being up <coughs> it will pop up here in a second it's got to go through every single mod individually and be like this mod works this mod doesn't work this mod works and then you know so almost done there it is so we're now going to move the screen over here. So this is the Minecraft. It says Minecraft 1.19. It's just going to tell you the version. It's not going to tell you. Oh, there it is. So black screen because OBS is stupid. Here you go. So it says Luna Pixel Studios. Now this part takes a little bit. This part takes around a minute or so. And I will we'll get to the point And then you guys can see that that is how you install medieval minecraft on multi mc i've seen videos on how to do it on curseforge and i'm like oh curseforge is easy to use curseforge sucks i don't like curseforge curseforge is very slow and you have to compromise do you want to be able to play the game or do you just not care anymore like i'd rather not play it than play it on curseforge if i had a chance if i had the opportunity to either play it on curseforge or not play it at all i would just not play it at all because I've never had any good experiences with CurseForge. <laughs> Multi-MC definitely works a lot better, in my opinion. I feel like there's not as much... It doesn't need as much processing power to use Multi-MC as CurseForge. <coughs> but, uh, so we're just gonna be sitting here for a couple more seconds. There it goes. The bar is moving. And there you go. Medieval Minecraft Fabric Edition. So this is my world that I currently have 
Because multi-MC, if you're using the same mod, multi-MC just pretty much... Uh, oh, no. Actually, what I did was I did play it on Curse Forge and then copied even the... I copied the world, too. So, this world's actually a Curse Forge world. But, yeah. So, that is how you download Medieval Minecraft for multi-MC. I hope you guys enjoyed the video in one way or another, and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, bye bye